Hello guys, we continue our series this week about Laravel multi-tenancy and we finished the sub-series of user multi-tenancy three videos and now we start another sub-series of three videos about team multi-tenancy or tenant multi-tenancy or company multi-tenancy. So how to divide your records by companies or by teams. In this video, I will show you how to create the team or the tenant at registration based on Laravel Breeze starter kit example. If you want the full course, including repository code, then all those lessons that are listed on the left are available if you click the link below in the description of this video. Or a better deal financially is to subscribe to yearly membership to get all of my courses, currently 31 courses, and everything I will release for a year ahead. The next in the list is React course with Laravel API should be released by the end of May, hopefully. Now let's get to the team multi-tenancy. And now we take the model of so-called team multi-tenancy or company multi-tenancy, which means that every record should belong to a team, to a tenant, which will have many users inside. So every user will have access to the records of their own team. And there are multiple ways how you can implement all of that. Generally, whether you use some package or not, you need to implement these things with multi-tenancy. First, creating the tenant and assigning a user to the tenant, probably with many-to-many -many relationship because user may belong to multiple tenants. Then switching between the tenants, the logic, then identifying the tenant, which may be by subdomain, by session, or other ways. And then finally limiting the records by team with scope or trade or other means. And as a bonus thing, you should probably have some kind of invitation system to add more users to your own team, to your own tenant. So we will implement all of that. And first in this section, we will do it without any package of Laravel, just manually creating everything. So you would understand the logic, how it works. And then in the next sections, we will perform the same or really similar things with a few packages and you could compare and choose which package you like most or maybe you like most implementing everything without any packages. In this video, let's create the team or the tenant on registration. So we have Laravel Breeze based registration and let's create a team for the user and assign that user to the team. Or from here, let's call everything tenants because the course is about multi-tenancy, but it's actually the same thing, tenancy or team or companies sometimes. So let's call it tenant. So on registration, in the registered user controller, in our case for Laravel Breeze, we would need to have additional code to add user to a tenant. First, let's create the tenant model. PHP artisan make model tenant with migration and tenant model. We will have fillable field, just name of the tenant, nothing else. So only name. And then in the migration, let's open up database migrations create tenants, just the name, string name. And also let's create a pivot table, many to many relationship between users and tenants. PHP artisan make migration, create tenant user table. A reminder that for many to many for pivot tables, the default kind of rule for naming the table is singular form of both tables ordered alphabetically. So it's not user tenant and it's not tenants users, it's tenant user. And then in the migration, we add two foreign IDs. So foreign ID, tenant ID constraint. And the same thing, we duplicate that line. We don't need any timestamps for now at least user ID constraint, that's it. And then let's add a users function in the tenant model, public function users, and it will be return this belongs to many user class. And then in the controller, we may do tenant create. How do we call that team, the tenant name? Name, let it be request name. So the same name, just with team at the end, something like that. So we create team and let's assign that to the new tenant object. And then we can use that belongs to many relationship tenant users attach the user ID from here like this. Let's try it out. Let's register. Of course, first we need to run PHP artisan migrate and then we refresh registration form, fake filler Chrome extension. We register, 
we are in the dashboard and let's check the database so we have tenants with hector team and we have tenant user with relationships so we have successfully created our tenant and assigned the user to that tenant in the next video we will limit the tasks and project by that team by that tenant